Hey guys, welcome back. This is Storm, and this is going to be another Minecraft command video. And in this episode, we're going to look at the block data command. So let's first of all take a look at the syntax. It's a very straightforward command, nothing much to it. So we've only got four inputs, and that's an X, Y, and Z, and data tag. So what on earth could all that mean? <laughs> so in Minecraft, there are certain blocks that can store some additional information about that block. They're called data tags. Uh, not every block can have that capability, but some do. So here's an example. This is a flower pot, it's got nothing in it, the game knows this as a flower pot, but as soon as I put something in it, it treats it as a different data tag, a different data information for this one block. So it doesn't treat this as a whole new block, it's just got different data information for it. So for example, these two are still the, both the same block, but the only thing distinguishing them is one, this one has a mushroom, and it keeps track of that through a different data tag. Okay, so let's look at some other examples. So let's use a sign, because a sign has some information, so let's just type in here, boo. Alright, <laughs> so this sign has some information on it, and now I can change this through the block data command. So let's press this button, and there we go, now we've got commands of fun written on it. So they're exactly the same sign, I didn't change the sign, I didn't destroy it, then recreate it. All I did was update the value, or the data tags, of this particular block. So let's look at the command, here it is here, I use block data, this is just a relative position for the block above the command block. And then I'll just use some NBT information here to set the data tags for that block. So, pretty straightforward. So what would happen if I were to put something that wasn't a sign here? Alright, so I've got a piece of dirt. I'll press this button. Yep, nothing happened. <laughs> so the game will always try and set the data tags for that particular block that's above it. Um, but it would only be successful if that matches the same block type. So you don't have to use the other commands to know is this a sign above it or isn't it something else. There are commands in Minecraft to figure that out, but you don't really need that because the command will just fail if you try to set the properties um, and it wasn't the right block type. So let's look at some other examples. So up here we've got some banners. So we can change the, the look of these banners just by pressing some buttons here. This is all setting block data information for the banners. I'm just saying changing the pattern uh, information for these banners, so it's exactly the same banners, all I'm doing is changing uh, which background they have basically, uh, through the pattern logic. So the commands are a little bit longer because these tag information for banners is a little bit detailed, uh, but you've got the basic syntax here. Again, all the examples that I'll be using in this video will be in the video description if you want to check them out. Okay, so let's look at some other examples. So at the back here we've got ourselves a beacon, and at the moment I've got the speed uh, primary power selected. So I should have here, here we go, we've got our speed boost on. Now I can change that information through block data. So here we go, I'm going to press this button. Now this is going to change the primary beacon power to haste. So here we go, I've got the haste speed effect or the haste effect at the moment. Speed is now worn off and I've only got haste. So if I go and look at the beacon now, I can see that haste is now selected and not speed. So that was all done through a command block and using the block data command. Now it is quite a small command, so you don't have to use the command block if you don't want to, but this is just a simple way to show um, how to use the command. By the way, when you're using command blocks, you don't have to have this forward slash here, you can just have the command written like this, but I tend to have the slash still written here because if I want to copy paste and just run it from the console. Um, so that's, that's the only reason why I've got that forward slash. So let's look at one more example. So inside this chest, we've got ourselves some cake, some cookies and some milk. So that's all well and good. What happens if I take this out? Yummy. Now if I open it again, hmm, we've got ourselves some more cake cookies and milk and so on. So the reason why this is happening is because inside this command block here, I'm setting the trap chest above it. So here we go. I've got block data using the positional uh, position for the block above it. And what I'm doing is I'm setting some item locations or some item information inside that chest. So again, this will only work if it's a trap chest. So if I were to replace that with, for example, a dirt block. And let's put a button on it. Of course, nothing is going to happen. Um, but as soon as I put a trap chest back on top of here, and I open it, there we go. Now the reason why it's having the, the command executed is because it's a trap chest, so that's sending a redstone signal down to this command block, which is effectively the same as me pressing this button. So if I press the button, the same thing will happen. There we go. Cookies for days. So that's pretty much it. It's a pretty straightforward command. It's quite a powerful command, how you can set the 
uh, the data tag information or block data information for different blocks dynamically uh, without destroying and recreating the block. Uh, it's pretty powerful, pretty fun. You can um, probably experiment with a few different things and try and try and put some different data tags in different blocks that it shouldn't have. Um, but yeah, you're pretty restricted on what you can and can't do. The game still has some built-in logic of um, knowing what you can and can't do with a particular block. Um, but that's pretty much it. Didn't want to show too much more. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If you like these kind of videos, go on and check out the playlist information that I have for micro micro wow. Microsoft? Hmm, <laughs> not quite yet. Uh, but Minecraft Commands, uh, there's a link in the video description and just click the button on the screen if you want to check that out as well. And until next time, I hope you guys and keep enjoying the videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright, see you guys. Cheers.